Hello, Dumaguete. Hello, Negros Oriental. Hello, Silimanians around the world. This is Joshua Soldivillo. And this is Ronilyn Faith Vailosis. And you're watching Hashtag Siliman. For Hashtag Siliman updates, Siliman University Technology Business Incubator or TPI Manager, Assistant Professor Janice Antoinette Forster is one of the participants in the 24th training workshop for Science and Technology Park Development or KSTP representing Silman University. This two-week online course consists of public policy on national science and technology innovation systems. It explores conceptual tools and strategies to design and develop a science and technology park. Congratulations, Assistant Professor Janice Forster. On the other news, Siliman alumnus and European-trained Filipino designer Amir Sali, in partnership with the Rotary Club of Makati Ayala Triangle, showcased his creations through a benefit show for street children last September 24 at the Okada Manila Grand Ballroom. The Rotary Club of Makati Ayala Triangle, led by President Marilyn De Mesa, Charter President Presi Yolo, Past President Melanie Sarmiento Omar, and President-elect Cecilia Asprec organized the benefit fashion show for the street children of Tuloy Foundation. Keep up the good work. The Social Work Department of the Silliman University College of Arts and Sciences announced that 22 of their graduates passed the September 2022 Social Worker Licensure Examinations. Congratulations to our new licensed social workers. Keep up the good work. That will be all. See you next week for another set of Hashtag Suleiman Updates. Good evening, everyone. This is a magazine program that talks about different aspects of Silliman University. A program initiated to discuss matters concerning the campus by the sea. Welcome to... Hashtag Silliman. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us for another episode. We thank you for making Hashtag Silliman as your Monday night habit. And of course, uh, we celebrated a lot of occasions this month of October, part of which is the um, Fiesta Celebration in Valencia, Mental Health Day. Name all of it, but I think, Ron, of all of this celebration, we also have the Senior High School Honors Day celebration. And one thing that keeps us united and bonded together is, of course, the food, Ron. Yes. <laughs> and of course, here in Silliman University, we have the so-called cheese bread supremacy. But what is the secret behind this cheese bread? We have the guys to answer that question. Allow me to introduce first one of the supervisor at the Silliman University cafeteria. We have Miss Catherine Hungayo. Ma'am Kat, good evening and welcome to the program. Good evening. We also have here with us tonight the Supervisor of the Food Services Department, Mrs. Dolores Bejarasco. Good, Good evening. evening. And of course, we have the Manager of the Food Services Department of the University, Assistant Professor Anna V. Riconalia. Ma'am Anna, good evening and welcome to the Hi, program. Hi sir, good evening and thank you for having us. All right, uh, Ron, I'd like to begin our conversation with uh, some historical, you know, background, background of the cafeteria. Because, you know, in Silliman University, we have a lot of buildings. I'm just curious whether, is this the cafeteria right now? Is this really the first cafeteria university or it was somewhere else? What other um, historical highlights that you can share to us about the cafeteria, ma'am? Actually, sir, as far as we know, um, that is the original cafeteria, but before the building was actually a library, before mm. it was converted into a cafeteria. Wow. Do, do we have an idea, ma'am, how old is the Silliman University cafeteria? Because aside from Silimanians, it also caters to non Silimanians, right? We yeah. also cater to outsiders. Do you have any idea how old is the cafeteria? Um, Based upon one of my readings, it says that the cafeteria existed as early as 1926. Wow! But um, the cafeteria before the year 1941, it served uh, two dormitories, mm -mm. like uh, the Guy Hall and the Oriental yeah. Hall, serving our students, uh, both uh, female and mm -hmm. male yes. students. Wow, Ron, imagine 1926, Ron. It began 1926. Very interesting. Yes, Josh. Um, moving on from the past, let's go back to the present. No? Um, because the cafeteria caters to all the Silimanians, no? 
please let us know your day-to-day um, -day activity, perhaps, especially in dormitories. How many people do you feed? Um, what are the other things that keep you busy? So I think Ma'am Kath and Ma'am Dolores can answer that. Actually, we are serving um, around 530 to 600 dormers. Mm -mm. We have the regular dorms like the Ch uh, Carson Dorm, mm -mm. Lorena, Channon, the Honors Dorm, uh, Dolls, uh, Vernon Hall, and Polido Hall. Wow. So you serve them, ma'am, um, for dinner only, lunch? Uh, we serve three meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So that means that you need to feed 563 or 36? Oh, what 500, was it? Uh, 530 uh, dormers. Dormers. So I, I can just imagine how busy the kitchen is during yeah. every day, no? And that's from Monday to Sunday. Mm -hmm. I think all year round. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yes. The cooks will report at around 3 o'clock in the morning. And then yeah. they will go home at... The, there are two shifts, uh -huh. the ah, morning okay. shifts and the late uh, cooks. Mm -mm. So the morning shifts will, uh, will report at around 3 a.m. until 11 o'clock to mm -mm. 12. Mm -mm. And the late shifts will uh, report at 8 o'clock until 5 o'clock. Mm -hmm. So I can all, um, imagine the pressure that they go through every day, Josh. Yeah, and the, the book of work that they have to, <laughs> to do every day. <laughs> Mom Dolores? Yes, actually, we also cater every day the snacks and uh, lunch of the different units in the university. During their meetings, if yeah. they have uh, conventions, seminars, uh, we are the ones who cater their food. Mm -mm. Okay. Now, um, I'd like to ask Ma'am Anna V here um, about, um, this is kind of a very serious question, <laughs> but I think this is a question that's also important to be answered. Um, how do you think the cafeteria reflect our educational goals and um, complement student learning? Because, um, of course, you know, more than a food service unit, I think, you know, we also get to be aligned with uh, our university's, you know, educational goals. Mm -hmm. Um, actually, if I may put it this way, a healthy body breeds a healthy mind. So the cafeteria is a source of food to mm. the Siliman community as well as our faculty, students, and staff. So the healthy food that we serve to our clientele, especially our students, of course contribute to their um, the, the quality of life that they yes, have and their exactly. well-being as well. Right. Um, in a previous episode, ma'am, we've actually um, had the international students. And of course, mm -hmm. Silima University is a, an area or a point here in the city where a lot of you know, students with different backgrounds in terms of religion, and that implicates you know, uh, food restrictions. So yeah. how do you also adjust and cater to their needs? Um, if I may mention, the, the three of us actually are uh, nutritionist dietitians. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And we have a background in food preparation, of course, and this uh, modified diet. Uh, even when we catered uh, the international conference like uh, the ICOFIL, International Conference on Philippine Studies, we also served halal food to mm, our, that's to nice. our participants, yeah, actually. So whenever there are requests that they have to um, have some diet restrictions yeah. like gluten-free food right. mm -hmm. or they have some allergies, then we serve them the food that, that they actually need. Ron, we have very competent people running the cafeteria, <laughs> nutritionists and dietitians. Imagine that. Mm. That's true, Josh. Um, moving on from educational um, goals or the importance of a cafeteria to the education of the Silliman community, let's talk about the culture of the cafeteria. How is it important or how does the cafeteria impact the culture in Silliman community? Um, one thing that I can remember or I can you know, observe when I go to SUCAF 
have is that we used to call or, or we call the tinderas and tinderos, the cashiers or the cook as ni ning. Ni so, ni 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 so we call everybody even if a boy or a girl um nining nining yeah is this like morning or evening also the students call our personal nining give me that one ning cheese bread ako aning that's it so you know you're in seliman if it's your you're called ning oh yes when and where did it start um if you can remember ma'am I, I tried to ask one of the oldest employee actually of the cafeteria, which mm -mm. is Bubong, who is also parang called meaning the to meaning. Al meaning. Yeah, the main <laughs> meaning. And this is my meaning, a lawyer, my meaning, and a doctor, my meaning. So okay. he was my meaning, she was my meaning, she is my meaning. So she said that um, I think more than 30 years ago, 40 mm -hmm. years ago, mm -hmm. the Nining already uh, existed. existed. Calling of Nining mm -hmm. existed already. Um, let, let's talk about uh, that, that kind of culture. And if we, if we can just like, expand it a bit. Um, how important do you think this kind of uh, you know, treatment that we have among our cafeteria staff and among students, uh, what does this promote among us? It promotes a sense of family. Like mm -hmm. also in our dormitories, we call each other kuya and ah, ate okay. also. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's like they have a home away from home. Wow, mm -hmm. wonderful, Ron. That's true. And the best, I can say also that the best time um, to eat your food is to be surrounded by family, no? That's why it's important also to have the cafeteria as our home, our second home, or in the campus. But anyway, let's talk, um, aside from the, the impact or influence of the cafeteria to the education and culture of the Siliman community, let's ask Ma'am Dolores and Ma'am Kath about the challenges that you encountered during the pandemic. So, did you encounter a lot of challenges during that time, and how did you cope with it? Did the cafeteria close, ba? No, we did. So, so the business must go on. Yes, Mam Kath. Maybe Mam Kathy can share. Yeah, go Mam Kath. What happened? Actually, and also the pandemic. We only serve around twenty dormers. Okay. But we also serve teachers, students that are isolated. We deliver their food to the dorm, like uh, Chanon, mm -hmm. I think, Chanon, um, Woodward, and the other dorm, I forget. The Volcano. The Black Volcano. 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 Mm -hmm. So even the pandemic, you continued to serve. Mm, but we continued to serve. How, how was it? Uh, can you share to us, how did you feel about delivering this food to, of course, uh, positive patients, right? <laughs> oh. uh, were you also scared? Or uh, sh share to us, what did you feel during that time? Mm, during the pandemic also, we created this cafeteria on wheels. Yeah. Uh, this, this is uh, the initi initiative of the food services mm -mm. to sell the sell our baked products to mm. the different communities in the city like like some of the Siliman Heights subdivision we go to the Siliman Heights mm -mm. we go to the Siliman Park to sell our products there so that in order for the customers to buy whatever they want because they cannot Go out. go out during the pandemic and the best seller in your and the best seller of course is our cheese bread and the <laughs> cheese bread All right. yeah um talking about the cheese bread and during the pandemic because i think it was also during the pandemic that you also um came up with another um flavor of cheese bread and i i think that uh you incorporated ube halaya so how was it um what was the inspiration behind it right yeah uh ron we're just going to take a short break when we come back we're excited to know the secret behind mm -hmm. the cheese bread <laughs> supremacy all of that and more when hashtag Seliman returns
Welcome back. You're still watching Hashtag Siliman, the official magazine TV show of the home of the cheese bread, Siliman <laughs> University. Now, Ron, before, before we pause the break, you were asking a question to them. Yes, uh, the question was, uh, what's the because during the pandemic, you also um, innovated another flavor to add another spice for our cheese bread, beloved cheese bread. It was, ano, the ube halaya was added. Um, what was the inspiration behind that? Can you tell us the story behind that, Ma'am Anavi? Actually, Ma'am Ron, there is really a constant innovation of products or baked products in the cafeteria. Mm -hmm. We always do that because we want to serve the Siliman community as well as our students, yeah. faculty and staff the best food ever that we can serve them. Mm -mm. But uh, when the cheese, ube cheese de sal also came in, mm -mm. we also thought of having, why don't we have another variant of the cheese bread, which is ube cheese bread. Mm -hmm. So we made our ube halaya from scratch. We, we make our own ube and incorporated it into our cheese bread. So now we have another product line which is the ube cheese bread wow. and it's more interesting and it really like a uh, taste like you know there's fiesta in the mouth <laughs> <laughs> i like the word fiesta in the mouth Ron. um but in terms of quality checking about the cheese bread uh, how do you check because i think cheese bread has been consistent through the years because sure. if i can still recall when i was a first year college and when i taste cheese bread now it seems that it doesn't change at all i mean it's it's still the same so how do you make sure that quality is really really achieved like uh do you need some uh tasters there i can work part-time or <laughs> <laughs> sorry josh because the, the the cheese bread the recipe of the cheese bread is actually standardized already okay. So that's why we always come up with the same quality of the cheese bread that we have ever since. So we just follow the standardized recipe and then there we have the, the cheese bread that everybody really love. Wow. Now, listening to all of you, it seems that gutom na gutom na ako because of <laughs> the... Ano. for cheese bread. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, yes. my question is a bit personal, ma'am. Um, what do you like most about your job? As a supervisor and manager of, you know, the I know the uh, the home of the cheese bread in Cinnamon University, <laughs> you know, home no, of the bread. you you basically I know see every every now and then food, you know, delicious food. What do you like most about your job, Mom Kath? Let's start with Mom Kath. Uh, <laughs> I like. Uh, I like to be in the kitchen because of the cooks. Um. Mga <laughs> si <-aw. laughs> I'm happy at the kitchen. Um. Usually, I always in the kitchen from around at 10 o'clock until 1 o'clock at noon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great to hear, Josh. Now, aside from, ano, um, aside from, you know, delivering quality food, um, we also have this kind of environment wherein we can also joke around with our colleagues and ano, the ninings. Yes, <laughs> the ninings. Oh, the ninings. The ninings cooks. The ninings cooks. How you, Ma'am Dolores? Mm, what I like most of my job is that when um, I feel satisfied and happy when I receive feedbacks good feedbacks mm. what uh, the food that we catered satisfies our customers satisfaction mm -hmm. yeah i think at the, end of, at the end of the day ron it's really our measure no yeah. of our you know of our service whether our clients like it how about you mom anna v um actually i am really really so happy where god has placed me mm. because this is the perfect place that I want to be because I really love food. <laughs> I love preparing food as well as I love to eat. Okay. <laughs> That's why it is also challenging that we don't only satisfy our customers, but we would like to delight them as well. Yeah. So it's, it's so fulfilling that when we serve the food and then they are delighted, then as if we have already accomplished our goal and that is to serve quality food to our clientele. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, Ron. I mean, they are so inspiring, Ron, because of course the food service unit is a combination of not only a product business or if not a product sir, a product oriented um, kind of office or unit, but it's also about service. No, so it's mm-hmm. like product and service. So I think it's really challenging to maintain quality of the product and quality of the service and moving forward to 2022 it's just so amazing to hear that you know they still continue to exist and to serve the student body and even the bigger community so um right now students are coming in the campus what are the measures to adapt you know, with the increasing um, number of uh, students in the campus? Uh, do you still do social distancing in the cafeteria? Are there still health protocols? Share us uh, your uh, plans about this. We still actually follow the minimum uh, health protocols in the mm-hmm. cafeteria, but not anymore on social, more on social distancing. Before the pandemic, we were actually serving more than a thousand uh, clientele in the cafeteria. Mm-hmm. And right now, it's beginning to, to be back again with its uh, full operation. Okay, so um, speaking about the um, safety measures, let's, all talk, uh, let's also talk about the activities that the SU Cafeteria initiated or spearheaded for the Silliman community. Are there things that we can look forward to, Ma'am Anavi? Or Mam Kath or Mam Dolores. Yeah. The the thing that I can think of right now, looking forward to the betterment of the cafeteria, is actually the transfer or the relocation of our hot kitchen back to the main cafeteria okay. for okay. the ease of supervision of so course. As of the control. moment, as of the moment, the hot kitchen is located at the Pulido Hall. Ah, okay. Mm. And we want it back to the main cafeteria where we prepare our sandwiches and, and our salads also. And mm. that's our baking preparation area as well. All right, Ma'am Anna, I'm also, and Ma'am Kath, Ma'am Dollars, I'm also interested because, of course, when we do food services, it's really um, inevitable that there will be excess, right? Mm. So, can you share to us uh, what do you do to, for example, there will be excess uh, supply of bread, for example? Yeah. Uh, for example, before when there there was uh, there is catering, uh, the leftovers or uh, example uh, cheese bread, uh, there are leftovers at around around 100 or 50 uh, pieces. We will uh, give it to the Children's Foundation at the Valencia, I think mm. Valencia. Mm-mm. So, Ron, there's also a touch of community service no, with regards to our cafeteria. No? Yeah. And also the jail. Uh-oh. The jail. So, so can you talk more jail. about it, Ma'am Anna V? You we, have more we information just, about We just it. give uh, some food, excess food, to the jail. The jail? Is this in, no. in the Bampandan? And the one? So the Negros from Oriental. the Talay. Talay. From Talay. From Talay. From Talay. The, a mental health mental institution, health in, institution Talai. in Talai. Okay. So you also get to share it to them. Yes, sir. That's a very. Uh, we will not bring it back to cafeteria, but we will give it to the. Especially right. during the. Uh, when some customers ordered as big shop bulk mm-hmm. orders of big shop yeah. for Boreal, yes. example, in, in Valencia, then the client did not want na the leftover food to be taken to their home. So yes. They let us decide on where to give, where to give the mm. excess bake shop house. So we give it to the uh, Talai, the There's mental health, health, mental health institution, institution there. there. Wow, mm. that's very good, Ron, no? to hear these stories. That of course, you know, um, a lot of people are also uh, um, experiencing hunger sure and um, poverty. No, so it's good that we are really making sure that this food are really uh, maximized, so yes, to speak. Sir. Mm-mm. And let's talk about the different services that the um, SU cafeteria is also giving. Are we um, are we just exclusive to the Siliman community, especially with, with catering services, or are we um, getting clients from outside the university? And maybe you can also talk about your um, or do we have also order via online? Um, how about the dive, drive through is still. Uh, operation uh, in operations ma'am okay go ahead um l- during the oh. pandemic we have launched this online ordering and okay. we are also uh in partnership with grab and go papa wow so we also have our own 
a cafeteria on wheels wherein we deliver foods to our clientele when they call or they text they we also have our own facebook page with which is Silliman cafeteria and they can place their orders there and the food will be delivered to them of course for a charge so you are available fee. on grab food you're yes. available go on papa. facebook order yes. and uh, go papa yes, yes. Sir. wow Mm -mm. Level up na ron. Pwede na mag-grab yeah. in uh, cafeteria. And we also <laughs> have our drive through The drive through Okay. You know, Josh, I have been meaning to ask, and I'd like to ask the three of them, no? Aside from the food that we uh, that we serve to the clients or to to customers, what are the other um, services that you can offer? Aside from food, perhaps. Pwede tangible or intangible, something like that, no. or no. Only quality. for our catering, and as um, the earlier, the question earlier that mm -hmm. you asked about whether we cater also outside, there are some instances wherein we cater to birthdays, mm -hmm. but for example, wedding, then um, it is easier for us to cater when it is inside our yeah. campus mm -hmm. rather than we go to the, their place or off-premise catering. All right. So we okay. encourage them to have on-premise catering. All right. So, okay. Ma'am Anna V, would you like to um, invite our televiewers to visit the Silima University Cafeteria? What are the lines to call in case they want to order? And what are the new products that you are excited to share mm -hmm. to our community? Um, hello, you can visit the Silliman Cafeteria uh, and also uh, call us through our phone number, numbers 422-6002, local 294 and 295. We have a lot of food that we can offer you, also new baked products like right now we have um, Aside from the cheese bread and the baked shop out that we have, which the Silliman community really, really love, we also have our tuna buns and potato, chicken potato buns, mm -hmm. as well as our hard monai and cornbread, our newest actually offering cornbread yes. and the hard monai. monai. Okay. <laughs> is the is oh wait no, I have this question. Is the monai really soft or yeah I, because I was hard, intrigued by hard, hard monai. Hard monai. Uh oh. -uh. <laughs> uh, yes, I think it is yeah. soft. It's and, commonly soft rod. No? Yeah. But yours uh, is a hard, hard monai. monai. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. I haven't tasted it yet. So yes, if you want yeah. to try and taste that hard monai, <laughs> go to the Silliman University Cafeteria. All right. Ron, let's uh, engage them in a fast up. We won't let you go yeah. without um, doing the fast up. Let's start. So we'll just give you options and you don't have to think too hard about selecting you know, a choice. All right. So let's start with Mam Dolores. Mam Dolores. Um, Cheese bread or bake show pal? Cheese bread. Ah, cheese bread. <laughs> Ma'am, I know na. <laughs> Is it the hard monai or the soft monai? <laughs> <laughs> hard monai. Hard monai. <laughs> of course. Ma'am Kath, um, the, which one is uh, your preference? The beaches or the mountains? Mountains. Mountains. Ma'am Dolores, is it the main library or the loose auditorium? The main library. Main okay. library. Ma'am Anna V, is it love or career? Love and career, I was supposed to answer. <laughs> <laughs> Why not both, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think all of them must answer. Uh, Ma'am Kath, is it love or career? Both. 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 <laughs> Um, Dolores. Both also. Of course, if we can have the best of both worlds, why not choose both, Deba? Alright, so, so yeah. this is the last one. Just have to complete the sentence. Okay? Silliman cheese bread is. Nostalgic. Oh, Nostalgic. Oh, I love it. It brings that. back memories. <laughs> <laughs> From Anavi. Silliman cheese bread is. 
Very nutritious. Very nutritious. Oh, nutritious. Um, Very delicious. Uh, <laughs> nostalgic, nutritious, and delicious. Perfect, right? So that is why it's supreme, no? <laughs> so Josh, we are now at the last part of our the last segment of um hashtag Silliman, and that is hashtag WTP or words to ponder. Josh, what is your word to ponder for this episode? Well, I, I think I'd like to ponder on the word family that they have been um, sharing to us because indeed, no, the pandemic really, until now, has been very challenging to all of us. There are a lot of limitations, but knowing the fact that uh, we have a family that mm -hmm. we can go to all the time, similar to what they shared, although their work has become extra challenging this time, but they continue and persevered because they know that they are a family mm -mm. and I think that what uh, what adds to the sparks of you know the Silliman spirit so to speak that we are a family yeah. and what makes a family bonded together of course it's food yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how about you Ron so Josh actually we have um, somehow relative or relevant um, word to ponder because I'd like to ponder on the word home, home. no because I uh, know they they provide this as you calf serves as a home Home where we can eat food comfortably no and it is when we are at home that we can feel that we are not really away or not we we are really in, included in a certain community yeah. and it is also home that we can really say that and I'd like to uh, no, um, I'd like to um, let the audience remember a Bible passage. One cannot live with a bread alone. No? And it is very important for us to also feel at home, to feel the spirit of family no? when we share food or when we just do whatever we want to do. Okay. So yeah, it's inevitable and it's very important to have a home at the same time, a family. Yes, I thought when you will say, a man cannot live by bread alone, there should be drinks. Oh, <laughs> panulak. <laughs> <laughs> that will be all for tonight and to God be the glory. Hey there, Salimanians! Dagang salamat for joining our episode tonight. Don't forget to support our Facebook page. It's called Hashtag Silliman. Like, share, and comment on our postings. We also have a YouTube channel. It's called Hashtag Silliman. Don't forget to click the notification bell for you to be updated with our recent posts. Don't forget to support as well the Facebook page of Silliman University Cafeteria for orders online via Grab Food and Go Papa. And of course, I can't wait to go because I have the banana bread. <laughs> but wait, Muna Josh. Please don't forget to also catch us at Phil Products Channel 6. Every Monday at 8 p.m. and replays will be shown every Tuesday before the noontime news and every Saturday after the noontime news. This has been Ronnie in Faith by Losses, and who is now hungry. <laughs> <laughs> and together with the banana bread, Joshua Soldivillo. Kira Kids next week, only here on Hashtag Cinnamon! Bye!